Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjord map. I'm going uh, Gaming and in this episode, we are going to take on the uh, Brood Mother Lystrix on Gamma. Um, and I actually have some bad news. I lost uh, the first uh, part of this episode. I, I recorded myself uh, going into the cave to get the artifact of the Clever and the Pack. We needed the Clever in particular for this fight. And then OBS crashed on me and I lost the recording, so... Um, maybe we'll do that again at some point. I'll take you in there or, you know, if not, you can always, um, you know, watch someone else do it on YouTube, but we're gonna have to go back in there anyways, um, you know, for, for future boss runs. So anyway, yeah. Um, so I got all my stuff together where we've got, uh, we're going to take theories in there and see how they do. Um, I'm going to give them some, some taste or some sweet veggie cakes, you know, for, for self healing. Uh, but I, because I don't have a date on or a UD, uh, but I just want to see how we do, um, you know, even without those dinos. And if we get our ass handed to us, well, then we'll know that we probably better not come in here again without that stuff. Oh, man, there's enemies in here. Uh, and, and, oh, yeah, by the way, this is the cave entrance, so about 5765-ish. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's see. Let's put this away. And see what we're dealing with here I don't I don't think I've ever been in this cave either by the way interesting okay yeah so here's the thing um, we got a rune down there too Yeah, we might need to we might need to deal with some of these ads here. Let's uh, turn the gamma up a little bit because it's going to take me a little while to get everybody uncryoed and lined up and loaded up with. Oh shit! You know what I forgot to do though? I forgot to uh, change into my my good armor. And hopefully, hopefully we won't need it in there. Okay, those. Those mobs are probably fine down there. Okay, so for uh, brood mother, for gamma brood mother, uh, we just need artifact of the clever hunter massive and a bela relic. So we've got all that stuff. There's hunter, there's clever, and there's massive, and that's ready to go. But of course, we're not going to start it quite yet. Um, all right. Now, does the, do the boss arenas let you take cryoed critters in there? Because I know you can only have 20 dinos max, you know, uh, in the, in the normal boss fights, in these boss fights here. So I wonder if, uh, it'll at least let me take them in there. Maybe it'll take, let me take them in there, but not launch them, which I'm not going to try and do anyways, but, uh, okay. So, um, I'm going to get everybody set up here. And then when uh, we're ready to go, I'll bring you guys back and we'll go see how we do against uh, Brood Mother. Okay, guys, so we are ready to go. So we're going to ride uh, 26 here, uh, who has 26 melee. And uh, I got about four or five. Mm, yeah, probably around four that are around 26. A couple that are. Probably the bulk of them are about 24, and then there's a few that are like 22. Uh, so they're they should be pretty strong. But you know, again, we're not using Danons, we're not using UDs, and um, most of them have normal saddles. So I don't know. You know, we'll see how this goes. All right, here we go. Of course, a mob has to attack right when <laughs> when the the boss battle starts. Up to 10 survivors and 20 teams allowed. So hopefully it doesn't have a problem with my my two cryo dinos. My guess is that if they let you take them in, you just can't, you know, take them out of the cryopods. Okay, here we are. And I can't see what the hell's going on. I need to get on the mount. And I'm trying to tell everybody to attack, and they're not doing it, so wonderful. 
Let's just put everybody on aggressive. I don't even think I'm on 26. Come on, guys. There they go. What dino am I on? No, I'm on 31. I'm not even on 26. But it doesn't matter. We're burning her down quick. Oh, yeah. We have nothing to worry about here. All right. Look at that. We got all those tech ingrams. The replicator being the most important one. Woohoo! All right. Well, there you have it. Okay, I don't know. I don't know who got the loot. It wasn't my dino. Uh, so hopefully we can figure that out because we can't. We can't stay in here. Now that was uh, that was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. I, I, I didn't think we were going to have any major problems, but I didn't think it was going to be that easy. So I guess, uh, you know, a gamma or... Not Gamma. Uh, beta. Broodmother is going to be the next thing to do. And here we go. And we're back. Nice. Okay. Well, you know, I think what I'm going to do is... I might just leave these guys here and have everybody... Uh, you know, just follow one passive dino. So it's kind of a pain in the ass having to set them all up. And I wasn't able to ride the, the one I wanted to because it's just a cluster when you go in there. I really don't like the way they have implemented the boss fights in this game. <laughs> I used to complain about it a lot last time I played too, but uh, the thing is, though, is one of these guys has the Broodmother's um stuff uh, you get like I think you get like a flag and you get a get her head or something like that I have no idea who's got it I don't have that stuff do I oh I do okay I do have the flag um hmm I don't know I, I guess I don't know if she, does she drop? I thought, didn't, don't we get a head? Like a green head for a trophy? Yeah, right here. An element. Yeah, duh. <laughs> right, okay, there we go. Okay, so we got the green trophy and we got 20 element. So she's definitely not someone we want to farm for element, but uh, we we needed we need to do each of the main bosses at least once for the ingrams, for the tech ingrams. That's the important thing. Okay, yeah, so you know what? I think I'm going to leave all of these guys here. Um, I don't believe I have, well, I know I don't have all the artifacts, and I'm sure I have all the other stuff. But I'm going to have everybody follow this dino. I'm going to put everybody on neutral. Oh, man. I don't know. Is that, is this a good idea? Because what if they go bailing off into the water? How deep is that water? Here, let's get, um... It doesn't look that deep. I mean, I, I, I just wouldn't want him to, like, drown or something. I don't think it's that deep. Okay. The thing is, is if they get, if they get separated by a bad guy coming up here, it could turn into a huge cluster. So maybe, okay, let's try something different. Let's pull them all over into the corner here. So we're going to jump on you and turn you around and have everybody the Dracula follow. Okay. And then I'll 
put you on passive. So that way everybody stays anchored to you. That pulls them back a little bit further from from the badness A, and if something does come up here, um, you know, hopefully they'll stay in this corner and won't go off into the off the side. That would be a pain in the ass. All right, cool. So let's see. Um, we're gonna need to get another. We're gonna need to get one of each more of the artifacts. And for beta, we're gonna need five RG talons, five sarco skins, five sauropod vertebra, and five. Titan bow of venom, and I think I have all of that stuff. The one, the one thing I might not have is the five Sarko skins, but those are be super easy to get. I'm just going into the swamp. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go grab all that stuff, and well, you know what? I could actually take you through the cave again. Um, to get the the clever. Since I lost the footage, why don't we do that? Yeah, why don't we do that? Um. Let's just do it right now. So, um, oh, there's an alpha. I need, I need more uh, rune stones. We get them? Yes, we did. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, I'll meet you guys over at the cave, and, and we'll run in and grab the clever really quick. And we might as well grab another pack while we're there too. Uh, and then we're gonna have to do massive, which is that. Really nasty cave that we did last. Well, when I say nasty, I, I say that kind of tongue in cheek. Cause I actually really enjoyed it. It was a fun adventure. But we have to go through that maze again and get that one. And then artifact of the hunter. In fact, we went run over and grab that real quick too, because that one's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'll see you guys over at the clever and pack cave, which is just over this way. Okay, here we are at uh, the cave. For anybody that wants to know, it is at 2157. Okay. This cave is, is a piece of cake um, on a Desmodus. But if you weren't on a Desmodus, then yeah, you got to kind of parkour around all this lava here. And then there's a bunch of mobs in here. But there's no des wild Desmodus. So we can pretty much just bypass them. And the pack is in this room, along with a whole shit ton of onyx. We're probably going to have to kill all of them. I don't know if... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to have time to jump off and grab that. So let's just kill all these guys. It won't take too long. Alright, let's get the badness off the ground here too. Shit. We took a we took a spit. Did that screw up our armor? No, we're good. Okay. We're massively weighed down by all the meat. But let's grab this real quick. Now we get there are some drops in here too, so we might as well grab them, right? No, don't be doing that. Do we have any bats coming after us? I think we're okay. Um, nice gilly leggings and a shield. Okay, gilly legging um blueprint to be precise. I'll take it. Okay, is there any other loot crates in here? don't think so. There's some in the other room. Or can be. Alright. Let's go to um, the next section. So you just go back into this front room here. And they, there's, yeah, there's a loot crate that can spawn on this ledge. And then there's this one over here. Alright. 
Uh, scorpion saddle, okay. And then the other chamber goes down to the artifact of the clever, which is the one we need for Broodmother. You basically just come down to here. If you were on foot, you have to jump across that little gap there. Might as well take out the bats again. You come into this room, it's got a whole bunch more mobs. And let's see if I can just grab this really quick. Okay, let's just get the hell out of here. We don't need to fight all those guys. There might be a loot crate in there, but that's all right. Okay. Um, let's run over and grab Artifact to the Hunter really quick. That'll be easy. And we'll get a couple of loot crates in the process. Just want to go through here to get out of here. All right, we are at Artifact of the Hunter Cave. We're not wearing the right armor for this cave. It's a bit cold, but I think we'll be all right. Let's turn on uh, night vision. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I wanted to do. God damn it. All right, let's get out. Get out. Come on, get out of the water. Jeez Louise. All right. Yeah, dove down a little too fast. Can we get uh, you to come in here? Or, okay, here, stay there. There we go. Okay, now, let's make sure we're pointed the right direction. <laughs> Check the blue crate. Uh, whatever. I'll just throw that stuff in the in the grinder. All right. There's uh, Megalosaurus's in here, and sometimes there's a couple on onyx too, but I don't see them. Wow. There's a bunch of Megalosaurus's in here. Okay. Damn game keeps giving me hyenadon meat pack saddles. I so don't care about that shit. Alright, let's head on down through here. And the artifact should be right there. All right, guys, we are here at uh, the cave, or just about to the cave. I'm just bringing uh, Dracula and Circus with me. We don't need to bring all those other dinos now that we kind of know what we're dealing with here. Um, so let's get you out. And uh, you should be good to go. Okay. Woohoohoo! There, there is, I think there are two more, I know for sure there's one more, but I think there's two more sea caves that are actual sea caves that we have to fight underwater with. I am breeding the Basilosaurus too, by the way, I haven't actually updated you guys on that, but that is getting done as well. Put you away, and we fly up to the upper chamber, and then we got to we we are gonna have to deal with a couple of um, Desmodus up there, so that's why we. Well, that's not that's the second reason why we're bringing the Androsarchus. The first reason was so we could get down here. Okay, 
So let's fly up. Um, I think we... Did we decide... Yeah, that helps a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Okay, so we'll fly up here. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's really hard to see. Nope, don't latch. Uh, shit, we got mobs coming. Okay, let's just deal with these. I don't want to go... Actually, you know what? I can launch him from here, can I? <laughs> nice. Circus here. He's uh he's he'll be okay. Here, let's give him one of these. Okay, so you come with us. Not, I don't remember exactly where the Desmodus were. They're probably in this larger room. Here, I actually want to hop on you for a second. Come here. I just want to make sure he's got all of his crap emptied out so we didn't get too heavy. We'll keep that. In fact, we need that for the fight, but I got a bunch of it already. And we'll let him keep the blood for healing. We don't need the rest of that stuff, though. Okay, let's go. Look at that. You can't get me, man. Okay, yeah, if you want to come down in range of my teeth, that works. Always appreciated. Wow, that one's got some really red wings. It's kind of cool looking. Um, here, let's do this. A drock got him, okay. Okay, let's go. Not really interested in fighting all these mobs. We have no reason that we need to, other than, except for the attack us. Um, okay, I think we can go down here on foot. We've got some incoming though. Oh, are they incoming? Maybe they're not. I don't think we need circus anymore, or at least not at the moment. Let's hop on you. Oh, it won't let us go through with him either. Okay. Fair enough. Wait, did that switch? use the torch this time so we can all see better and I think the last time we were here we just did this that seemed to work the best oh let go there we go we'll run down through here and we 
got to jump over here. I've, I've got my notes from last time, so I know what the sequence is. So we just need to get to the, the room here. Okay. Oh, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see here. So green, yellow, purple, blue. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is so cool though. Reminds me of playing Skyrim and Oblivion and Conan in the dungeons. <laughs> cool stuff. Okay, so now we just have to figure out how to get to this room. I don't remember exactly how we got there. We just kind of kept wandering around until we eventually found it. I think I think it goes this way. But I couldn't say for sure. Let's just keep moving until we come across something. That's a three. Wait, what? What's that three for? Oh, for yellow. Right, okay. Do, these don't change every time, do they? Ooh. Didn't think about that. I figured they'd. Well, it, it was the same for the first cave. Okay, there's nothing else in here, right? We can't go anywhere else? Okay, so we came from that direction, so now we want to go this way. All right, that's when I jumped across and um, landed right on the spikes and kind of hurt. Kind of hurt a little bit. Okay, that's purple too. That's what I wrote last time, right? Purple, yeah, okay. So it doesn't, I don't think it changes. I think it's the same. There's a loot crate around the corner. Let's see what we get. Pretty nice uh, Mastercraft ghillie and the pistol thing, which we don't really care about. All right. There's uh, number one, which is green. Let me double check that again. It is. Okay. So I'm 99% sure we don't have to worry about these uh, resetting. Or not reset. Yeah, well, not resetting, but changing. Okay, I do remember coming through this way. way yeah okay cool so let's see we want on the second green purple yellow blue okay green purple yellow and blue this door opens. And then we go through and grab the clever. Or massive, I mean. Alright, that's all we need to do. Let's, um... Do I need to go back to the base for any reason? I don't think I do. I think we can... Let's just go to... No, I do. Yeah, I do. I, I didn't. I didn't grab all the other stuff because I don't want to take it in this cave with me and then die and lose it. So yeah, we got to go home first. All right, I'm just gonna go grab that stuff. Uh, I do have ten Sarko skin and I got all the other stuff. Uh, so I'll meet you guys back at Broodmother's um, portal again and we'll we'll try beta, see how things go. I think we'll be okay. 
There we go. Okay, so we'll put the three thingies in and Bela, and then we need Argyclaws, Snake, Venom, Alligator Scan, and that. All right. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy, you guys. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this stuff. Um, I don't think we need Kaylee and Soup. Are we good on hydration and all that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Rude Mother Beta. I'm not even gonna bother getting on any dino until we get in there. It's just gonna kick us off again. Okay, let's get on you and There we go. We got everybody to go after her this time. Except for worse. Oh. Come on, game. God. Oh, I hate that shit. Okay. Yeah, we're we're tearing her a new one too. some damage. Not enough to be worried yet. Uh, okay, so Soldier 12 is the one that got it. Look at that, you guys. All right. We just, <laughs> we just kicked the shit out of Brood Brother Beta uh, with just this basic theory army. No, no extra healing, no uh, UD roars. So, yeah. I'm pretty proud of these guys. Could we do this on Alpha? Maybe, but I think for Alpha we probably better get a data on and a and a uh, a UD in here to help. I mean, we could try it if, if 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 we wiped. It's nothing in the world. I mean, I've got a whole nother batch of these things I can breed up, which will be even better than these guys, you know. So um, I suppose it's worth a try. But I, I'm gonna have to gather up all the shit again. Uh, including s some more of the um, lesser items because I don't have enough of those because we need 10 of each of those things for alpha. But I, I'm thinking, you know, it probably would be worth a shot to do it. And, uh, you know, we can uh, we can afford to wipe if, if it happens. I mean, I don't want that to happen, but if it did, it wouldn't be the end of the world for us, you know, so... Okay, everybody come over here. And actually, we need to find Soldier 12. Where are you at? 12, 11, 20. Here. There we go. Beta Brood Motherhead and 56 element. That's nice. So, you know, that might be worth farming. Because it wasn't that hard to do. And 56 per shot is not so bad. Everybody get your ass over here. Everybody get on neutral. Yeah, that whole getting stuck business, man, it's just so frustrating. But fortunately, we got unstuck before it got too crazy. All right. I want you to be on passive. And uh, I don't remember which dino I was on, but their health was down about 40% down. You got some levels. Uh, come on. I hate it when my, I lose my cursor. There you go. So what I'll do is, before we go in and do alpha, well, I don't see, it doesn't really look like anybody else has levels. I mean, not that I can easily see here. It's just a big cluster right now. Okay, let's, um, do this. Just taking a quick look 
on this end to see if anybody has more levels, but it doesn't look like it. Looks like they're all good. And yeah, we definitely took some damage with beta. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, let these guys heal up and see the advantage of not taking the Dadon and the UDN is we have two more fighters. Um... So I don't know. I'll think about that. I'll think about that. We might just go in with this group right here and see if we can burn Alpha down. Um, but like I said, I gotta gather up all the stuff again for that, and um, we are also out of time in this episode. So I'm gonna let you guys go here. We'll just keep trying to hit these bosses until you know either Arc Ascended comes out or or doesn't. <laughs> and then once it comes out. My tentative plan is to is to move to Arc Ascended. I'm not sure what map we'll do. We probably won't do this one again just because, you know, we've been doing it. Uh, and I love this map. absolutely love it. But I'm going to want to probably try something else. Oh, shit. So, yeah, that is the plan, Stan. So thanks, everybody, for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.